What's going on, YouTube? This is your boy, Jay Moniga, coming at you with another Madden 21 Ultimate Team video. And in today's video, guys, we are hyped because we have our 215 subscriber giveaway. It's going to be player's choice. So any card that you want in the game of Madden 21 Ultimate Team, if you win today, it is yours as long as under 700,000 coins. Uh, make sure you message me try not to take more than three days because I will have to re-roll it at that point guys So smack the thumbs up turn your notifications on be subscribed to the channel if you want to be involved in future giveaways guys We're gonna be doing another giveaway in 15 subscribers. Yes 235 subscribers It's gonna be a player's choice card under 700k anything under 700,000 coins. It is yours guys All right, so be subscribed to the channel uh, and we're gonna be doing a comment give you give giveaway for the next one guys So I'm gonna be selecting um, people who comment on my videos for over the next week for this uh next player's choice giveaway okay guys you want to be a part of that be subscribed smack the thumbs up turn your noties on guys because we have some of the best methods in the game um I, if you were doing my method from yesterday you're making hundreds of thousand coins uh it's the best method in the game guys i was just doing it before i got on here with you, you want to see what that is go check out yesterday's video guys all right so we're going to be getting into our team of the year predictions guys now bear with me this is my first time doing a list like this and i had a little bit of fun with it okay um i just wish i had written it out better because it's kind of like written all over this paper like in scribble because I'm, I'm just i'm an asshole like that all right but uh we're gonna be doing for the quarterback position we are gonna do the seattle seahawks seattle seahawks quarterback and that's gonna be 92 overall russell wilson i mean this guy i feel like he could have been mvp candidate this year guys um he kind of did wind up um throwing that down the tube uh he, he had like the horrible gameplay towards the end of the season uh I, I don't feel like it was all just him guys but i could definitely see him um getting a uh, team of the year card because madden kind of likes the rinse and repeat and he had one last year i could see him getting one of the uh overall cards or either that or like a kyler murray or uh deshaun watson guys they all had fantastic seasons as for a halfback guys we are gonna roll with your homie Dalvin Cook, yes, guys. Dalvin Cook, he was one of the lead receiver, lead receiving rushing backs in the game, guys. Uh, he's fantastic receiving. He's fantastic rushing. I feel like we can get him as like maybe like a receiving back, um, as a power back, guys. I'd have to say the kid for the Browns, and that's going to be Nick Chubb, guys, because all they have, all he has is that 90 overall. He usually gets a card around this time of the year for the past couple of Maddens. Um, you could either see him or maybe a Derrick Henry, but I really feel like it would definitely be Nick Chubb right there. Um, moving on to the offensive line, guys, and for the left tackle position, we're gonna uh, we're gonna I'll, I'll jump back to tight end after this. For, but for the left left tackle position, we're gonna say the guy for the 49ers, okay, and that's gonna be the homie um, Trent Williams, guys. I feel like um, Big Trent, he's had a lot of cards come out this year, and it, he's just really due for an upgrade. Uh, people invested a lot into their card, a lot into his cards. So I, I could actually see him definitely getting an upgrade this year. Okay, guys, as for the left guard, we're gonna jump over to Most Feared, and we're gonna be checking out um, big homie Quentin Nelson, guys. He's an absolute stud. Uh, the way he works the trenches, guys. I mean, that's the one dude in the NFL I wouldn't want to be up against. And for the center, I'm going to have to go with the old vet right here because uh, you got to throw a veteran in there, man. Put some respect on his name. Um, that's the homie Alex Mack. Been in the game so long. Um, so steady, man. And we're going to move on to the right guard. And as for my right guard, um, I had two of them. One of them was David DeCastro because he does have like a 94. But the other one was Zach Martin. Uh, I think Zach Martin was injured for most of the year. But he always gets a, a big card around this time of the year. So that's kind of why I threw him in there. He didn't really have the best year. Um, but he's just one of the greatest of all times. Now as for a couple of these picks, I did pick some Eagles. Just because I feel like... Uh, the Eagles have some of the best players at the O-line, and that's at the right tackle position. Uh, usually, they were like Brandon Brooks, I would pick for a right guard, but uh, he was he was injured this year. So for right tackle, we're going to throw in big homie Lane Johnson, guys. 
one of the uh, most mobile left tackles in the game. Um, he's one of my favorite players for the Eagles, has been for the last couple of years. For tight end, guys, we're gonna go to the 49ers. I feel like you could see one of three, or possibly, man, they might even just drop all three because these guys have been balling out all year. Um, and it's gonna be George Kittle, man. Um, he was injured for some of the year, but when he was playing for the most part, uh, he was out there killing it. I mean, even when he came back from his injury at the end of the season, when it, when like they didn't even have a chance to go to the playoffs, the guy was still out there and he was he was still rocking out, showing some team pride, man. So I got nothing but respect for big homie right there. Uh, my other tight end is going to be Darren the Baller Waller. Um, just a fantastic uh, receiving tight end all around. The dude's a stud out there. He's, he's come to be one of my favorite players in the game. One of my favorite players in Madden. And definitely the GOAT. I, I say the GOAT. I say he's better than... He's going to he's gonna break all of Tony G's records if he didn't already, guys. I know he broke some of them this year. That's going to be Travis Kelsey. All right. I mean, uh, who wouldn't be in the Hall of Fame if uh, they had uh, Patrick Mahomes thrown to him? But before Patrick Mahomes was there, Travis Kelsey was still out there doing his thing man um i got nothing but respect for him you know him and gronk are probably uh, some of the best tight ends to ever live besides some of the older gentlemen okay now for uh, for left end we're gonna swing over to the chargers i feel like this dude's definitely due for an upgrade um and it seems like he was getting cards throughout the year so i feel like uh team of the year would definitely be the um, next move for him so we're gonna go with the homie Joey Boza. All right, the Boza brothers, man. Even his brother Nick, man, is absolute. I think Nick was injured this year, though. But Joey Boza, come to be one of my favorite players in the league as well. Um, now we're gonna turn to, is it a 93 overall? I do believe for the right end, and a 92 overall. And that's gonna be Aaron Donald, guys. Um, this guy's absolute goon, forced to be reckoned with. They got to come up with game plans just, just, just to shut him down. It's like, let's have a whole game plan just to shut one player down on defense. Um, that's the type of guy he is. I, I expect him to be like that for the next couple of years till it doesn't seem like he's slowing down at all. You know, so for the defensive tackle positions, guys, now they're going to have different types of defensive tackles. They might have like, a, you know, a... a a power rusher or like a speed DT um, but as for the power I went with the Eagles and that's gonna be my big homie Fletcher Cox okay I think he has like a 93 overall as well um, 92 overall I actually have this card on my team still guys and he plays fantastic now I do have some Eagles chems guys but um yeah, he, he plays fantastic still. best Still one of the best run stoppers on my team. And the other DT uh, you would think would be either DeForest Buckner or Chris Jones, okay? Um, I think um, I think Buckner is going to the Pro Bowl. And Chris Jones has been, a, he's been one of the fastest DTs out there. Just absolute goon. Um, and right now, guys, he's a really great budget piece to add to your squad in the game Madden 21 Ultimate Team. Um, so before he gets a team of the year, guys, if, you, if you're interested in having that card in the, on your team now, because I'm not telling you it's definitely going to come out. This is just a guesstimate, guys. I think he might get a card, okay? I'm not sure. But he will get an upgrade throughout the year, especially if the Ch Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl. That's why it's kind of hard to put Chris Jones in there. So I'd probably go DeForest Buckner for the Colts before him, okay? Because you might see um, a Buckner, like a, a playoffs or a Super Bowl, because um, I can see the Chiefs definitely going to the Super Bowl again, my guys. All right, so um, as for left outside linebacker, all right, that's, um, of course, we're going to go over to the Chicago's Bear defensive unit, and we're going to be hitting up our homie Khalil Mack attack, slapping you in the face and leaving you on the back, taking your girl in the back. Yeah, bro. Yeah, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Because he's just a, that dude's a bad dude, man. Freaking bad dude right there. All right, and uh, middle linebacker, man. Now, guys, I I like this Roquan Smith, actually, but that's that's not who I chose. Um, he doesn't have a higher overall card. You have to actually melt this guy down with uh, hot cocoa. 
Um, but I still feel like he's one of the, he's one of the best middle linebackers you could have on your squad right now at a 92 overall. And that's going to be this Devin White, guys. He's an absolute stud. He's been a goon all year. I think he had like three picks or two picks or something like that off of uh, the Saints last week. I don't, I, don't know, I don't know if it was that much. I know he had a pick, but the dude... Um, he's all over the field, man. Absolute field, field general right there. Uh, as another middle linebacker, you possibly could wind up seeing like a Bobby Wags or something like that. I mean, Bobby Wagner usually does show his face around this time of year. Um, right outside linebacker, I chose another Buccaneer, guys. And that's... Um, where is he at? That's going to be this boy Shaq Barrett right here. I think Shaq Barrett finished the year with around like nine sacks left. And last year he had like one of the the best um at his best years at his position. Um even with this year he, he still did too, okay? So uh definitely um definitely uh has an opportunity to get a team of the year. All right, so we're moving down to the cornerback position. All right, and for the cornerback position, um, I came up with the boy from um, the Miami Dolphins, Xavier Howard. I feel like you could definitely see Xavier Howard. I feel like Jalen Ramsey might get like a 97 overall card, though. Because, like, who had a better year at cornerback than Jalen uh, Ramsey? Um, either that or if you go over to the Bills, guys. Um, I think he just got like a 95 overall. But I still could see him possibly getting like the 97. Um, I mean, we're seeing really higher overalls for this time of year. I think he'd get like a 97 or a 98. Um, so as for the quarterbacks, guys, there's, there's a lot of guys out there who are like new to the game too. Or, you know, uh, I think it's JC Jackson. Um, you know, just, just a bunch of different guys out there who have an opportunity as cornerback to get one of the team of the year players. I was kind of a little oblivious on that one. Now, as for free safety, guys, we're going to go down to our big homie, Minka Fitzpatrick. I, and I would I skip over the wide receiver position, right? Yeah, I got to go back to wide receiver position. All right. So, um, yeah, man, we're going to say um, Buda Baker, man. He might he might actually get one, too. Buda Baker had a hell of a year. But that boy, Minka Fitzpatrick, guys, as you can tell, it is still a coin method because he's selling upwards to 170,000 coins. Hold on. Let's go. Let's move over to Steelers, guys. And um, see if that's, oh wow. So that's still a coin method. So to go check out my video from two days back, guys. I showed you a little method on how to make coins off of Minka. And uh, it looks like that is still absolutely a good coin method, guys. Now you also could be doing that team of the week like I dropped yesterday, man. I mean, I was making like um, almost 50,000 coins per one of them Jones that I made right before I got on making this video with you guys, okay? And as for the strong safety guys, you know you gotta go to the Seattle Seahawks and you gotta talk to your boy Jamal Adams down there, man. I know he's so glad that he got out of uh, out of the Jets organization, guys. So like his talent was just being absolutely wasted there. Um, so I'm kind of glad that he did get away from there. Now, most of our wide receivers, guys, I feel like you could wind up seeing maybe like three or four wide receivers, maybe like a, a, like a physical, a deep threat, a route runner. Okay, guys. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised at all to see uh, as like a physical guy would be DeAndre Hopkins right here. Um, it seems like most of the guys that I picked were around this 92 range too. So they should be definitely getting an upgrade. Um, now the boy for the Bills, I feel like could be seeing another high card. I mean, I'm not, not another high card, a new high card. Uh, I thought he had a 92 overall. Maybe it's a 91 overall. Or maybe they just don't have none. Yeah, they just don't have none in the auction house. Uh, that would be the Stefan Diggs, guys. Stefan Diggs, I could see... Okay, so he doesn't have, he, he's not even in the auction house, guys. So that's a smart move. If you're one of the people that went out and picked up one of those 92 overall Stefan Diggs, I feel like that was definitely the move. Picking up a DeAndre Hopkins, the 92 overall, might be a good move too. Now they have reduxes, but there's no set to get that D Hop, okay? So if D Hop winds up getting a card, man, you could really see D Hop's um, price rise up there. Because there's not, there's not a set to do it. It's a redux that you're going to get. So you have to pull that out of packs. 
All right. Now, this this guy that I picked for my other wide receiver, I have two other wide receivers I'm going to go over, okay? And I feel like either one of these guys could get a card. Now, this is one guy that deserves a, a, a upgrade from... Um, since like the middle of the year and that's gonna be Robbie Anderson okay Robbie Anderson ha had a phenomenal year guys I feel like he could see like most improved player of the year I mean he definitely was from leaving the Jets man uh I had him on my fantasy squad guys um so that's kind of why I chose him and he was fantastic man I'd also like to see like a T Higgins at the position but um I feel like it's going to be Calvin Ridley, guys. Um, he stepped in for Julio Jones. He was the best receiver on the Falcons this year. I mean, even when Julio was in there, it seems like um, Calvin Ridley was uh, was getting the ball out. So he has a 94 overall. So you can wind up seeing him getting a 97 overall, guys. You know what I mean? So uh, that's our team of the year predictions, guys. Now, do I suggest that you invest in any of those players? I do not. What I suggest you invest in possibly is just their base elites. Because base elites, guys, you don't really lose too much profit on some of them. Like the Aaron Donald, okay, base elite. Um, possibly Miles Garrett could want to get a card. Make sure you get the Khalil Mack. Uh, Fletcher Cox could go up in price. I've even seen Darren Waller's 81. That was like more towards the beginning of the year of selling for like 30,000 points. Okay, uh, Lane Johnson, um, Dalvin Cook. I mean, Tyreek Hill, guys. I feel like Tyreek Hill could be getting an upgrade. I feel like he could wind up seeing one of the 97s also. All right, because those are some, those are all like the best players that played this year, guys. Um, so, yeah, man. So, we're going to take the time to thank some of our commenters dude that have been hitting my last like four videos and if i missed anybody i apologize but i just want to say thanks to josh s silico ed j excel power cb34 the hairline running the slant k2 ky2 society Gresham farmer colin gibson lorenzo p luke 209 sports sports and beans my homies thank you guys i couldn't have did it without you man getting to, to 220 subscribers our next giveaway is going to be at at uh 300 and uh i mean i'm sorry at 230 subscribers man so it's very very uh, it's only uh, 235 subscribers i'm sorry it's only 15 subscribers away guys um, and I couldn't have did it without you guys. I just want to say thank you to all you guys. The methods have been fire, and I, I've been feeling a lot of appreciation from you guys. Uh, so I just want to take the time to thank uh, my guys that have been, been hitting the videos, guys. All right. Now, this uh, this giveaway winner was a randomized one um, through the computer. Okay, so my next video is going to be a giveaway for my guys that are always smacking the comments. I'm going to I'm gonna wind up picking um, someone who writes a comment that I like the most throughout the next week until we give away the next giveaway winner. Okay, guys. Um, this winner is randomized, and it's going to go out to subscriber Hoat8283, H-O-W-A-T. 8283 if I said you said your name right guy hit me up guy you have uh, three days to hit me up and if not I'm gonna re-roll it um, also if you guys retweet this video over on Twitter I will be doing an additional giveaway and I will select one of the guys that who retweet this video and I will be giving away um, who should we give away why don't we give away a DK Metcalf and all you have to do is retweet this video. I think he would he is a 94 overall, right? DK Metcalf. I have him on my squad, guys. Um, I feel like he's absolute glitchly. Even though Team of the Year is coming out, you could always run him as a middle linebacker. Um, he's big, he's tall, he's fast. All right, and where is he at? There he is, DK Metcalf. We're going to be giving away to one of my subscribers that retweets my tweet. I'm on J Money. Go to one, two. Hit me over on Twitter, guys. I appreciate the love. We're so close to another giveaway. The next giveaway is going to be winner's choice. Guys who comment on the video. This is your boy, J Money. Good. I appreciate every single one of you guys. Much love. Peace.